Welcome back to Trading 360. It's time for the disruptors. And George Sillis is with us, senior markets correspondent, taking a look at Zscaler, a name that has run up off its lows, but today with a down arrow after the quarterly report. George, tell us more about it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Zscaler's down today, Nicole, in sympathy with the uh, the overall market. There's been a lot of volatility and a lot of technology names and, of course, the market altogether. But Zscaler, uh, for those who don't know, it's really uh, an interesting company from the cybersecurity standpoint. It's basically cloud-based uh, Internet access portal for remote workers. Uh, they actually have on-premise but also off-premise cybersecurity protocols and effectively workplace solutions for uh, for uh, internet access. Now, if you look at the report, uh, it was actually pretty good from the standpoint of both earnings and sales. They actually reported a 64 cent uh, uh, increase uh, relative to the estimates. They beat it by about 14 cents. And that's about a double, if not a little bit more than the 25 cents that they earned last year for the same quarter. And if you look at sales, they actually beat the estimates growing at about 43% year over year. Uh, coming in at 455 million. The other thing is, is their billings growth uh, actually increased about 1,100 basis points above estimates. They had it uh, pinpointed around 27% billings growth year over year. And that actually uh, d uh, demonstrated by the company was 38% year over year. Now, the other thing is, is they raised their guidance for both sales as well as billings growth with uh, billings growth for the full year to be about two and a half billion relative to total sales around two billion. So as long as billings growth is growing faster than sales. Uh, that gives you an idea there's more visibility in the prospects for Zscaler, which again, from a cybersecurity standpoint, is still not a profitable on a gap basis. They are profitable on an adjusted basis, but they still haven't uh, proven themselves as a profitable company on a gap basis. Now, with that said, if you look at some of the analysts, they're rather constructive on the stock. Deutsche Bank increased their price target to about 185 from 165, and they maintain a buy rating. But at the same time, you got Barclays increased start target to 176, but they maintain an equal weight rating. And I can see why Barclays is doing that, considering the stock is trading around 73 times forward earnings. So with that, as you talk about that, how do you go about an example trade here? Well, so in this case, Nicole, we're just going to always, is the case, uh, we're going to take what the market is giving us. If you actually look at Zscaler, Effectively, it's been in a trading range in the last two years uh, between, of course, let's say 190 to 110. So it's been an $80 trading range, and it's sort of in the middle of that range. So we can capitalize on this because if you look at the report, uh, it was actually very good, but the stock isn't reacting very positively. And I think it's got some valuation issues, and maybe that's why the market is not pushing it higher. So with that said, we can continue to participate by uh, effectively trading in this trading range, and we'll actually sell an iron condor or credit combo going out to October monthlies and selling the 175, 185 call spread that's above the current price. And then of course, below the current price, we'll sell a 145, 135 put spread. Uh, altogether, you can sell us about $3.50 a share or $350 a contract. So it's a $10 wide spread. Uh, your return is 350. Risk is of course, uh, the uh, difference between the spread and the credit of 650. You're getting a, a basically more than 50% return on risk. And what we're doing in this case is we'd like to see the stock, uh, ideally speaking, in the next 44 days, stay below the short strikes, 175 to the upside and 145 on the downside, which is about about $15, give or take, up or down. Understood. George Sillas, our disruptors every single day in today's Zscaler. Thank you very much, George Sillas.